In a college football landscape that seems to be ever changing with conference realignment, the Big Sky prides itself on consistency. So it's time to preview the 2024 season as a whole, starting here in the Treasure State, where Montana and Montana State came in ranked first and second, respectively, in the preseason polls. The Grizz, who are the reigning Big Sky champions, are fresh off a trip to Frisco. It's always great to have uh, people think you have a good team. Hopefully there's some uh, some foresight to that with, the, in particular, the coaches who think they know. Uh, so that's exciting. But, you know, they, they picked a six last year, which I thought was a bit low. Uh, so who knows? You know, I, I think that preseason recognition is about a good season the year before and obviously we had a great season. Over to the Bobcats, they were picked second in the preseason poll. Last year, they were the Big Sky runner ups, and this year they returned 23 seniors that are leading the way this season. You know, we were we were tied for second last year and we returned quite a bit. So, you know, it's probably um, based on that as much as anything. You know, if it drives our guys to ultimately want to gain that top spot a little bit, I. I hope that's the case. Both the preseason offensive and defensive MVPs are more like than you think. Despite playing opposite ends of the ball, both have rodeo backgrounds. Lan Larison, standout running back from UC Davis, and Brody Greeby, star defensive end for Montana State, were selected for the accolade. I'm sure I got a little bit of a uh, target on my back, so I'm just going to play my type of football and our type of football, and we're going to be good. It's honor and respect, I would say, are the two main things, knowing that I have the respect from media and people around this conference means a lot to me. Idaho came in third on the poll with head coach Jason Eck entering his third year at the helm. This past postseason, they won their way to the FCS quarterfinals after a first round bye and a second round win against Southern Illinois. I mean, it's it's been amazing to yeah see both sides of it, having being a part of two losing seasons and then now the upward trajectory that we're on. It's, you know, just it's a it's a culture change. It's, Heads a lot higher in the locker room, a lot more energy around the team. There's two new coaches to the league this year, Tim Plow of UC Davis and NAU's Brian Wright. Plow's no stranger to the Aggies, though. He was their former quarterback and spent 11 campaigns as offensive coordinator. Someone told me if, you, if you're going to be a head coach, why not go to your alma mater where you know the, the pluses and minuses, you know what it takes to recruit there, and, uh, and you know the town, right? And so, and it's, and it's a place set up to win. Wright has experience in the Big Sky winning two conference titles with Montana State as the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach in 2010 and 11. I think that the experience you take is it takes a great group of, of people uh, collectively on, on one mission to, to win championships uh, in any conference and especially a conference that's at the level that this one is. The best part about preseason is that this year is anyone's game. For MTN Sports, I'm Grace Lawrence.